Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and how to use the ESP32 as a Bluetooth low energy gateway to Wi-Fi. And if we want to use the ESP32 as a gateway, the first question we have in mind, what can we do with the gateway? And imagine if you have some Bluetooth low energy sensors or actors, then maybe in a home automation environment you can read the sensor data or switch even with an actor, a light bulb or a heater. And imagine if you have some Bluetooth low energy beacons, then you can track the position or the appearance of one or the other object that you want to track. And you can also connect with other ESP32s with Bluetooth low energy. And on the other side of our gateway, we can connect via Wi-Fi to any server infrastructure we like, maybe to an MQTT server like Mosquito, and we can run the Mosquito server on maybe a Raspberry Pi or whatever cheap server you have in mind. And optionally, we can also use cloud services if we want and send the data over the MQTT broker to an MQTT cloud server. Or if we want to store some sensor data, then we can also store the sensor data in a cloud storage server. And we can build the gateway as a server, or we can also use it as a client. And the difference is not so obvious, but today I focused on the server and the server needs an active connection by the clients. Then we cannot use any Bluetooth beacons because Bluetooth Bluetooth beacons are only senders and this is a kind of server and the sender cannot connect to another server. So if we want to use also our Bluetooth low energy beacons, then we have to switch to another topology. We have to build our own get client and then we can actively read the sensor data and actively steer the actors and also read or track the Bluetooth low energy beacons. And here the first practical demonstration of our ESP32 GETS MQTT gateway. It's just a small technology demo so we can open maybe the NAF Connect Android app from Nordic Semiconductor and connect to our gateway via Bluetooth low energy and then we can type in some messages if we connect to our self build demo service. And we can write to the service maybe a message hello ESP32 and the message will be sent over the gateway to a MQTT cloud service. And we can also maybe send a byte message. But as you see, the gateway only sends the character data. So let's try another text. Maybe we want to read a sensor and send the sensor data to the cloud. Then we type in the sensor and maybe a sensor number 1334 maybe and a value for the sensor. And we send it also to the cloud. Or we can also send another hello message and I type in hello YouTube.
And we can also show the Bluetooth low energy, advertising data and maybe in raw form. Or we can also show the connected signal strengths maybe. Here I play a little bit with different positions. So we see that our signal strength is direct related with the difference between our mobile device and the ESP32. And I can push it a little bit back. So we see that the strength is reduced and we can go closer to the device and the signal strength is now a little bit higher. And here just a small walk through the source code. We have our main routine. The main routine is responsible for build up the Wi-Fi connection and also initialize the Bluetooth stack. And we enable the Bluetooth controller and switch it to the new Bluetooth mode. Then we initialize the Bluetooth stack and enable it also and then we just register our callback functions for the get server and the gap event handler and register our bluetooth low energy service so then we can have a look in the gets profile but this is mostly a copy from the expressive example code and the first thing if we register our gets event handler then we get our register event and we just build up our service interface and then we call our own profile event handler and the own profile event handler initialize the gap or access profile event handler and now we set our device name and our service and so on and then if our device is built up complete then we start our advertising and if we get in connection then we jump into the profile event handler and handle all the events and the most most important one if we get an write event then we take out the written data and write it to the MQTT task and to have a look in the MQTT task then we just build up in MQTT connection and publish our data to the MQTT service that's all for today so thanks for watching and I hope you learned something and enjoyed the video so please give me a thumbs up and also write some comments if you miss something and you want to leave some additional information so please do it in the comments. Have a nice day and bye bye.